an intruder. I am not. I am Mrs. David Vicker. <laughs> Please take this woman to the tech room until further notice. Oh, dear. I trust you were able to get some rest, madam. Thank you ever so much for looking after our guests for the night. I do hope she wasn't too much of a bother. Shoot, I've had worse. Cattle rustlers, horse thieves. They uh, are not even in Miss Olinoff's, uh, Mrs. Uh, Vickers' league. If I remove your muzzle, will you promise not to scream? Oh, no. I can take it from here. Thank you, Chuck. You need anything? Just give a holler. Other than cutting out my tongue or killing me, you can't possibly think you're going to keep me quiet about this forever. I'm hoping I can persuade you to keep quiet on your own. <gasps> about what? The fact that David Vickers is really David Buchanan, who is actually my husband, and everything that he owns, half of it belongs to me? There is nothing you can do to stop this. I'm sorry, madam, but it will be over my dead body. untie you because I'm quite certain you will do your very worst to No, me. thank you. You think? After you tied me up in this horse barn with the I don't care how cute he is ranch hand? Oh, that ranch hand is actually the new owner of this horse barn along with everything else on this property. The Buchanan family sold him the ranch. Mr. Buchanan left it to him in his will. You've got to be kidding me. And he left the mansion in Landview to... Emily. You really expect me to believe that? It's true. And Mr. Buchanan's wishes are being followed to the letter. I know that Asa left David something. No, oh, nothing monetarily. There's some complicated instructions about company board seats for family members. Oh, we don't care about board seats. What do I have to do to get out of here, Nigel? I want your silence. Oh, forget it. You can't expect me to stay quiet about this forever. Indeed, I do. Oh, go ahead. You may have gotten some little tricks from Asa, but you'll never be as ruthless as he was. I've lived my life in service of Mr. Buchanan. That is not going to stop now that he's gone. And unfortunately, Mr. Buchanan's last will and testament will not change either. So whether you tell the family David Vickers is one of them or not, it will not mean the windfall you had expected when you married him. <sighs> Nigel, there's got to be something. There's got to be... I didn't go through all this to end up completely empty-handed, for God's sake. I heard you say that David Vickers was Asa's son. All I can tell you is that everyone will be enlightened when, as Miss Buchanan said, the time is right. Well, there is something. Yes. You knew Asa would leave David something. Here is the deed to Mr. Buchanan's tropical island, St. Blazes, as you may recall. And here are the keys to his yacht, the Jeb Stewart. He left his long lost son, an island, and a boat. Actually, no. He left them to me. But I will sign them over to you, newlyweds, this very moment, in exchange for your eternal silence about Mr. Vickers' paternity. To keep David from getting his share of the real money. My loyalty is to the Buchanan family. And Mr. Vickers would be a curse on that family. Oh, don't be such a drama queen, Nigel. The Buchanans don't care enough about him to hate him. Cannon family's extreme disdain of Mr. Vickers is no exaggeration. His brother was Spencer Truman, a man who tried to destroy the entire family. So there is no possible way that they will ever accept him into the fold. But they wouldn't have any choice if they knew the truth. No, they'd have every choice in the world, because Mr. Buchanan did not die and test it. Without a will, I know. Yes. yes, he left his belongings to specific persons with specific instructions. His lawyers assured the family that his will will never be changed or challenged, which renders your pursuit of easy money, well, fruitless. So an island and a boat. That's your final offer? Take it 
All right, leave you with the horses. Your answer, madam? You gotta let me out of this stinky barn. I'm sure my husband is just worried sick about me. Mrs. Vickers? Buchanan. My very generous offer of an entire island, a quite spectacular yacht, has a time limit. This is my last and final. Are you quite certain of that? <sighs> yes, I'll take your island and your yacht. All revocable if you ever breathe the word that David Vickers is A.C. Buchanan's long lost son. Are we clear? Crystal. <laughs>